Greetings, salutations, apologies for the gap of putting up videos. I had a last video, I think I mentioned my back was really bad. I was having a real, it was, it was pretty bad. Let's see, today's Memorial Day. A week ago, I went to see my doctor and um, told her it was really pretty bad. She gave me some new muscle pills. Um, I've had a bit of reaction to those though. But while I was there, she gave me a shot for my back. Like 30 minutes after I got the shot, the pain went away. Not 100%, but ugh, I hadn't felt that good in probably two, two years, three maybe? Two years at least. Um, and it was great. But unfortunately, that has faded a week later. Of course, it, w it wasn't a you know high-end shot or anything, but whew, man, for the first couple days after that shot, oh. I could move without any pain. It was nice. Today, about a week later, about 70, 70, 80 percent of the pain has come back. Um, the muscle pills were all right, but I had a real bad reaction to it. I had a terrible panic attack, and uh, it was bad. Probably the worst I've ever had. I would like to never have one of those again. I feel like the walls were closing in on me. I couldn't breathe. I had to go outside because I couldn't even be in my room because it just felt like the whole place was just coming in on me. It was horrible. So, I can't take those, which is too bad. Um, and now the injection's worn off, so I'm kind of not quite back to where I was. Um, so I'm not quite as bad, but kind of kind of back in that general vicinity. I did pick up some more die-cast cars. As you look up here, you'll notice I've got a few blank spots. I picked up seven, I think, should, which should fill those up. So I'm going to have to buy another display. But I haven't bought die-cast cars in a while because there just hasn't been anything worth getting that I've seen and and there hasn't been a lot around in the stores but I went to Publix I want to say maybe four or five days ago and they happened to have uh, brand new cars like they must have just got some in so I found like I think it's seven I may do a video on that I may not we'll see how it's going um I was going to do a, a video on the radio that I'd gotten but I actually sold that radio um I sold it because I got a custom radio that I'm going to get and I needed the money for that um when the custom radio comes, and I've been trying to get this custom radio now for about eight, eight weeks. It seems like it's kind of, the the people who are doing it are the commercial radio people. Uh, they do the CBs and ham radios on the side as a secondary income, and um, he's been kind of busy lately. And one of the technicians wasn't feeling good and had to have, take a week off or something, but hopefully this week that, that'll get started. So i got a few things going on. Today I'm really just taking easy. As you can see, I'm back in my recliner here just I'm trying to do anything that's going to aggravate my back I'm I'm okay I'm back on the town I was off the town all during the for about four or five days using the pain relievers the muscle pills but I had such a bad reaction I had to go back to the Tylenol which is which is all right I mean I'm not I'm not as bad as I was Monday but it's slowly getting there um when I did go in she said what's it L4 and L5 um have definitely got arthritis in them but the other Two major things that are leaning towards the actual part that's giving me the problem is the cartilage in between the the vertebrae is is wearing out between those two, and actually the one below L four two I think is starting to to wear out, so there's not as much cushion. That's not good, and it looks like I might have some bone spurs, which <laughs> bone spurs in your spine is not going to be a good time. I got to get an MRI, but I've been trying to get some Medicaid, but. Anybody that gets Medicaid before you're 65, it's almost impossible to get. But the guy that I'm supposed to be having as my person that's handling my paperwork for the government hasn't even bothered to call me. I've called him five times now. Um, so I'm trying to work with that with my doctor's office to see if I can get that taken care of. And uh, that's just how it's going. I mean, I'm, I'm a week ago, I was really bad. That Monday I went into my doctor's office. I could barely move. The pain level was really high. I mean, it was... It was higher than it ever been, and I was miserable. I wasn't I wasn't able to do anything. I literally had zero energy. I mean, I said so in the last video. I'm better now. I'm not as bad, but I had like four or five nights of good sleep because of the injection, which helped me get caught back up, and you know how it is if you don't get good sleep, especially the older you get. It just wears you down. You don't ever feel like you're getting charged back up. So uh, I'm doing better, but of course the injection's, you know, pretty much worn off, so, and I don't go back to see her till. August so but this month I do have an appointment to see my heart doctor um, I'm sure 
nothing really changed with that, so I'm sure that'll be pretty straightforward. Um, and of course, tomorrow is June 1st, which is hurricane season, so I got a I got a new backup battery thing. I do want to make a video about. It. I'm going to show you that. I'm, some of you who've been here a while know I made a battery pack like a year or two ago, um, but it wasn't very strong, and um, I found one that was on sale on Amazon for a phenomenal deal, and it had um, it had quite a huge lithium-ion battery. The good thing about lithium-ion batteries is you can drain them way down. Lead acid, you can only go to like 15%, and then you got to charge them. Um, but the lithium-ion, you can really drain all the way down, and they charge back up. It's a really nice uh, battery pack. Um, it's it's a solar charger basically. You could put a solar panel on and charge it if you wanted to, but it doesn't come with a solar panel. I may do that in a later date, but solar panels are kind of pricey, and I just I just wanted the battery backup for charging phones and and running stuff and a USB fan and other things if the power goes out because it is hurricane season. Plus, I got to go through my flashlights, make sure all my batteries are freshly done. So I do have a few things to do, hopefully this week. But I wanted to give a video and let you know I did see my doctor. I had an injection. It wasn't, uh, you know, a full-on, like, steroid injection like you would get to uh, last you, you know, a couple months or a couple years. But it took the edge off. It allowed me to catch up a little bit on sleep. Um, and, unfortunately, the muscle pills she gave me had, had a reaction. I have very poor luck with medication when it comes to pain. It always either I have a reaction to it or it doesn't work. And um, this one, that panic attack thing was terrible. I mean, that was the worst experience of my life. Um, and it lasted seven seven hours i think before i finally felt like i was not gonna trip off and have one um it was it was bad so um live and learn anyway just a little update let you know what's going on the next video hopefully should be the battery pack one i'm going to show you and my old battery pack for those who didn't see it and i'll show you the new one and then um we'll see how things go and hopefully by the time i get that video up i'll have some news on the on the radio that i got coming uh, Skip was in there today. I had my radio on today. I was listening to some of the locals, and uh, there was a little action on channel channel six, and then lower thirty eight actually has them in there. But they were a little too low for me to hear in thirty eight, but I could hear the voices in there. So conditions are getting better, which is good. Hopefully, anyway. Anyway, short video, just let you know how things are going. Update you on my back. Hopefully, you're all doing well. We'll catch you in the next one.